Hello, Saints. Hello. How's everyone doing today? This is Lisa. Hello, 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 hello. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saves a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Hello, how are you, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome to this channel. Please like, subscribe, share. Welcome, old comers, newcomers, new viewers, old viewers. Thank you, returning viewers. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Yes, this video was covered through the blood. I'm going to talk today a little bit, just a brief video about um, what God is doing in this hour for his kingdom marriages right now for some. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Jesus. Have your way, O oh God. Decrease me and increase you, Father. Lord Jesus, use my lips, O oh God, to be prophetic in your will and your way. Use me mightily, O oh God. Cover us in the blood in Jesus' mighty name. Cover our marriages. Father God, for those who are getting married, in the name of Jesus, and for go those who are already married, may you cover them. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Holy God, I hope you all are having an awesome day today. Yes, fire, 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 ring of fire in the house. So I want you all to know that God says that he is doing a new thing right now, and he's really, really moving out the old, entering new in the month of October. And uh, God is, uh, is, is pushing together his remnants. All right, to come together and be joined as one, everybody. Okay, so he says that um, in Hebrews 13 4, let marriage be held in honor among all, and let the marriage bed be undefiled, for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. So God said that He's putting these marriages together to be undefiled. Okay, your man and woman should be for one another, not no one else outside. So five, Proverbs 18 22, He who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord. The Lord said He's given the man a good wife and His favor. His favor in that, so treat her good. Genesis 2, 24, Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife. They shall become one flesh. So God says that when you become married, you have to be as one. There's no longer two, but one. All right? You're coming together. 1 Corinthians 13, 4 through 7, Love is patient. Love is kind. Love does not envy or boast. It is not arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. He says in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Holy God, we thank you, Jesus. For such a time as this, God is saying that right now, um, for some, he's already giving you some of the um, plans to write down that he's giving you. Some have received um, who your wedding photographer is. Some have received uh, God saying that referrals are coming. And God is putting some people to take a flight. He's saying to take a flight and spend a night in Wonderland. So some people are going on destination weddings. Um, God is saying uh, destination weddings and he's uh, like like St. Thomas Virgin Islands for one is a destination wedding that um, I was hearing. Um, some are going to be doing have like a spur of the moment wedding um, um, is where it's really, really, you know, fast. This, this is like God is moving things speedily. God is giving people their locations where they're going to be living. Okay, I was hearing nosy neighbors, so somebody is going to have nosy neighbors. So be careful with that. When somebody is moving next to some nosy neighbors, so be careful how you are doing things. Okay, don't have people all in your business. And God, as I heard the word, skip to the loop, my darling. So God is saying out with the old and with the new. Some people are not going to be happy. Some old lovers aren't going to be happy with God, what God is doing. But God is saying, um, if he's told you some things and he's uh, talked to you and you pray to God and God is moving you, this is your time. You know who you are. Um, take heart. To know that God is moving things and blessing things. This is the um, pleasurable time. All right. It's the time of the have and have nots, everybody. God is ready for you to have the things that the enemy stole. He's doubling and quadrupling and tripling your portion. Okay. So um, you store up the tithes, the storehouse. There shall be meat in my house. 
that he will pull you out of blessing. You shall have room enough not to receive. All right, everybody is in Malachi 310. God is blessing you with the blessings of uh, Joel 225 blessings. He says to, he's giving you double a portion for your trouble with the canker worm has stolen. All right. He meant it for your good. God is really going to do this thing for you all who have been really, really waiting for um, your marriages to take place for your Boaz and your roofs. And God is saying, this is now your time. You've been faithful. You've been truth. You, you've you been waiting patiently. You've been waiting and not fornicating and knowing that who you're waiting for, who you say God is going to give you. God said, this is now your time. All right. So this is good and plenty. This is time for good and plenty. He told me good and plenty. So this is your time of good and plenty right now. God is blessing you. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to... um. To, to, to reverence him and he wants you to treat each other right because this is a blessed union all right so god so loved the world he gave his only begotten son whosoever will let him come in proverbs 21 9 he says it is better to live in the corner of the housetop than in the house share with a quarrelsome wife all right so god wanted he wants you all to be blessed and to be happy be fulfilled all right, and just walk in the way that he wants you to go in. But God is ready for you all to be happy, okay? First Peter 3, 7, he says, Likewise, husbands, live with your wives in an understanding way, showing honor to the women as the weaker vessel, since they are heirs with you of grace of life, so that your prayers may not be hindered. See, God wants us to pray together. He wants you, men and women, and your wife, take your wives and pray together, all right? A family that prays together, stay together, all right? So God is, is he's he's coming out with the with the old and he's he blessing your your latter rain um, from the former rain he's blessing it more all right so in this time right now write down the things that he's giving you the things that he wants you to do some of you are gonna have big receptions um, where your weddings aren't gonna be too big but like I say some are having destination weddings which are very very romantic all right. So God will tell you everything he want you to do. Uh, we, we want you to uh, go out for a cake and things like that. So um, God will, you know, give you uh, what he wants you to do. So hearken to his voice, go into prayer and listen to what God wants. All right. The best is yet to come. Um, you all are going to be so happy and blessed. Okay, so amen, amen, amen. Father God, we thank you, Jesus, right now. I praise your holy name. Let every knee bow, let every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Father God, may you use us mightily, Father. May, our, may the marriages be blessed, Father, coming in and going out, O oh God, in the city and the field, O oh God. Father God, that you will be done in the lives of your kingdom marriages, O oh God, in the lives of others, Father, and those who are struggling in their marriages, O oh God. May they come together as one accord, O oh God, to be in oneness with you, O oh God. Man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word of the mouth of God. Cover their homes, their marriages, their families. Increase, 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 increase in the name of Jesus. Um, God is blessing right now with portions where families are going to be amazingly blessed. He's, his miracles are happening right now, okay? Between now and the end of the month, you're going to see some miracle blessings coming where you're going to be able to help out your family members and children, children, children. And the things that you have lost, God is putting, uh, uh, giving you your rewards from the things that you've lost, all right? He's removing things from the enemy and replacing them in your hands for your good. So what the devil meant for evil, he meant it for your good, okay? He's the potter, we're the clay, we're the head, not the tail, above, not beneath, blessed and not cursed, all right? And we put on the full armor of God, all right? The helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness, shod our feet, preparation, gospel, peace, sword of the spirit, guard our loins. We watch in our eyes, we guard in our eyes, we guard in what we see, what we hear, what's in our heart, what we take it in. All right? Okay? So I want you all to be blessed. I love you all with the love of the Lord. If you feel this led on your heart to give into the ministry, it will be blessed. Your seed will be blessed. A hundredfold blessings. I thank you for prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, so let every knee bow, every tongue confess to Jesus Christ as Lord. Be blessed, everyone. Congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. It's about to happen. Bye-bye.